So it's Monday morning and I have this thing called the power of Monday. Monday has to be start off on a powerful note. Um, every Monday I wake up at 5 a.m. I do a meditation, I listen to something motivational like a podcast or something on YouTube, which I always share on my Facebook page. And I get down to Bondi Beach with Giuseppe. We go for a walk or sometimes a jog. And then um, I get into the ocean and I will float around, get my head under the waves, like feel the vibration of the waves and the energy and just like whoosh any sort of stresses or anxieties or fears that I have away. And it doesn't matter how cold it is, um, I always do this as my sacred ritual. Um, I also every Monday do, um, it's my day of intermittent fasting, so I fast for 18 hours. I finished dinner last night at 5 p.m. So I will have my first meal, which will probably be some high protein cereal at the office around about 11 o'clock. But I am so grateful for this challenge. I'm realizing in editing my videos, wow, I'm wasting food on, wasting money on food and wasting money on snacks and wasting money on food, wasting money on snacks. And it's great to know this information now because I can change my habits. Um, I'm also realizing I'm so grateful for this challenge because I'm realizing some of the best things are actually free, like the most incredible sunset, um, so sunrise that is behind me down at Bondi Beach that I get to enjoy for free. And even parking is free down here because the meters don't start, I believe, until about eight o'clock. And the person who loves this um, the, like ritual, probably more than me, is Giuseppe. Giuseppe, come on, let's go. He loves it down here. <laughs> That's why he's crying, because he wants me to hurry up and start walking. <laughs> I'll cap check back. Okay, so we've been for a jog and a swim, and I feel so good. What did you do, Giuseppe? Okay, so this morning I fasted until 11 o'clock. I had a book signing at Booktopia. So if you're one of those people that pre-ordered the book, you will be getting a signed copy um, from me. And um, to make sure I didn't get tempted to grab any snacks on the way um, to Booktopia, I grabbed the bowl and my um, cereal that's really high in protein and really low in carbs. There's some berries on it and some milk and quickly ate it in the car so that I didn't need to waste any money on snacks. Now it's one o'clock um, lunchtime for me so I've uh, ducked home, which I think it's later than one o'clock, ducked home and I've just made some poached eggs because I'm realizing from editing all these videos, whoa, I waste way too much money on snacks and that ex explains that one kilo that I've been trying to budge for a while now. So today I didn't even have a coffee at home. Um, I actually genuinely didn't feel like it. Um, it was more of a habit for me today. And I realized even when I do make coffee at home, it still costs money. So didn't have one. Um, I also didn't spend any money at all today. I um, ate my protein cereal, went home for lunch, um, and when I went home for lunch, I discovered that I found some mineral water in my fridge, which was bought by Tom. Now, when I did my upfront monthly grocery shop, I did a lot of things to save money, um, including, you know, buying, um, uh, like swapping brands, um, looking at what products I already have at home to stretch out the usage to make them last a bit longer. And I also banned the purchasing of any drinks, so no juices, no fizzy drinks, and no mineral water. Now, I don't buy that stuff anyway because it's a waste of money and full of sugar, but I do purchase a lot of bottled mineral water, which is really bad for the environment and a complete waste of money. So my question actually is to you guys, who has invested in a soda stream and is it worthwhile? With Frugal February, I don't want it to be just the being the month of February that I'm frugal. I want to discover something new that I, you know, a, a new habit or a new um, in like discovery and then take that through for the rest of the year. So I'm wondering if I invest in a soda stream, is it worthwhile? Because I probably spend about 30 to embarrassingly $40 per month on sparkling mineral water and I don't want to do that to the environment and I don't want to do that to my wallet. So my question to you is, is it worth investing in a soda stream instead of buying fizzy water or buying other fizzy drinks? Let me know by putting a comment in the comments box below. So I'm at Tim, oh Tim's, who is Tim? I'm at Tom's. <laughs> Um, and tonight we're having Marley Spoon, so that's already included in my budget. Now, 
I have banged on about Marley Spoon. It is such good value and it is so easy for nights like this where I've got home at 7 o'clock and I wouldn't normally have had the energy to go to a supermarket and get dinner. I would have probably cheated and get gotten home delivery or takeaway. But tonight we're having laksa roast chicken with vermicelli noodle salad. And Marley Spoon, we get the $70 package per week, which is six meals. So it's less than pretty much $12 um, or $13 per meal. It's such great value for money. And the great thing, what I actually love the most is it inspires you to cook healthily and it inspires you to cook a whole range of different cuisines, experience different flavors. So it's Monday night and I've realized that there's <clears throat> been like a spiritual awakening um, from doing Frugal February. I don't really know how to explain this, but I'm just feeling incredibly grateful for all the beautiful things that we have in our world, which are free. Like watching a sunrise. Like lying on the sofa with someone you love. Like enjoying a moment together or laughing together. Like they are all things that cost nothing or even being able to step outside into the fresh air and go for a walk. These are all things that cost nothing but they are incredibly beautifully rich moments that we get to have. So sorry if I'm sounding a bit um, cheesy or corny or crazy even but it's something that really has shifted my perspective um, particularly today and I just wanted to share it with you. But I'm also loving seeing the actual physical dollar savings um, and you know it feels great putting the money into that um, world tin and feeling it like adding up and knowing that there's something of substance in there that I can use to kickstart round three of the thousand dollar project. Okay, good night.